Back on the Chad Hasty Show, News Talk, KFYO. Thank you for tuning in today. It's time we go to the phones, uh, visit with our great friends over at United Supermarkets and Corporate Dietitian for the United Family of Stores, Brenda Garcia. Brenda, good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm well, thank you. How are you? Doing great. Appreciate you joining us. Well, thank you. I thought that, you know, we're in the middle of summer, and I thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about farming, gardening, and how we can relate some of that process into our body. So, you know, one of the things I wanted to point out is when you're farming or you're gardening, uh, you have to have water. You have to have water or your plant wilts, and it, and it doesn't do very well. And you start to stress your plant. Let's say you got tomato plants. You're not going to get any great tomatoes coming out of there. Um, it's going to not do well. Our bodies, same way. If we don't give it lots of water, um, it doesn't flourish. And think about that same plant. If you just try to give it lots and lots of soda, it's probably not going to do as good as if it does with water. Right. So um, a little bit of soda is not going to hurt the plant. But it's not going to be optimal either. So hydration is important. And then we want to think about that soil. If we're not uh, making sure that there's great soil and the farmers are always paying attention to their soil and what can grow in it and what it needs and so forth so that they can get the best plant out of there. Our bodies are the same way. If we don't fill it full of good stuff and good soil, we tend to wilt. We tend to not do good. We tend to suffer through um, our body not reacting the way we want it to. Maybe there's inflammation. Maybe there's um, chronic diseases that are beginning. Not to scare everyone, but to say we have so much that we can do by what we put in our bodies and fill it with good stuff. So I'm always talking about that, but I thought it was fun to focus on that right now because in this heat, it's extra hard to keep plants alive. Um, and so hydration is important. And that's really what I want to encourage people is to focus on hydration and think about the water, but also we've talked lots about how you can get that through fruits, vegetables, all that good stuff. And then they come with all kinds of vitamin C and everything. So stock up on that zucchini, on that watermelon, on that water, on that sparkling water. And uh, hopefully our bodies will be in much, much better shape to be able to keep us healthy yeah, and, tomorrow and going forward. Yeah. And, you know, you, you also uh, you've talked about in the past about freezing some of those different fruits and using them. Uh, you know, inside, you know, like basically as ice cubes, uh, you know, for water and keeping your water uh, nice and cool uh, during the hot day. And uh, it, it also uh, kind of refreshes you as well. It really does. And, you know, if you, uh, in fact, I have watermelon in my freezer right now um, because we used half of it and the other half, I wasn't sure we were going to eat it quickly enough. So I threw it in the freezer and then um, we'll just pop that in our water as ice cubes. Yeah. So it'll kind of flavor the water a little bit. And then that vitamin C is going to leach into the water. So we'll consume some natural vitamin C. Uh, and that's always good for our body. So, yes, thank you for reminding me of that. And uh, always a great way to go. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brenda Garcia with United Supermarkets. Always a pleasure to visit with you. And we'll talk to you again next week. Sounds great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. That's Brenda Garcia with United Supermarkets. 